just so we have we have breeds that are local to this area because we buy from local farms. So some of the things we have we have Tunis. Uh, Tunis sheep is a very a breed that's been around in the Mid Atlantic since colonial times. George Washington had Tunis sheep. Um, they almost lost the breed in the Civil War. We have a lot of Lester Longhorns in great colors. We've got blues, we've got a lovely cherry red. Some of these, in fact most of the dyed um, rovings, are dyed in the wool, which means I dye the fleece before it's carded. So actually in every, in the roving, you're going to get undyed fiber in there as well as a lot of different colors. So there's pinks and reds um, all blended together. So it gives it a beautiful richness. We have Border Lester. Border Lester sheep are the sheep that were in um, the movie Babe. And so here's a nice, a nice pink. We have, this is also Border Lester. This is Clun Forest. Clun Forest is a heritage breed, <coughs> excuse me, originally from England. And it's um, raised for meat. And it's particularly good because it's a breed that can finish on pasture alone. So it really doesn't need grain in order to come up to weight. So it's a really good and popular breed that they're kind of bringing back. But most people don't use the wool. But it's a very nice one. And, you know, um, what else do we have? We have the breed of sheep I raise, Romney which is very easy to spin. <coughs> this roving is a natural gray, so that the gray is the natural sheep color, and it's called a core roving. So the dyed green is in the center of the roving, and it's surrounded by the natural gray, and it gives a nice pattern in this thing. Um, we have a couple other very different breeds. This is Caracal, and Caracal is a fat-tailed sheep. Um, it's originally from Central Asia, and it's a primitive breed. So it has a long outer coat that so rain or weather all can sort of roll off the sheep, and it has a soft down undercoat that keeps the sheep warm. And it makes this an incredibly strong wool, traditionally used for carpets, but also a great felting wool. Um, very insulating, very strong, and very easy to felt. Also easy to spin. And we have that in a few dyed colors. This one is greens blended with the natural gray. And the other thing that people do with um, roving with caracal is they make um, braided rugs that you felt. This is Jacob sheep, and if you're familiar with the Jacob breed, they are the spotted sheep, the, the sheep uh, with coats of many colors. And so this roving has all of those colors blended together. So when you spin this, you're going to get a heathery, beautiful, beautiful yarn, all undone. This is another Romney that's kind of a soft mulberry purple that has silver blended in, the natural silver color of the fleece. Mm -hmm. Another dyed in the wool. And, uh, Jeff, the Here's Dorset. This is a breed also traditionally raised for meat. There's a lot of, one of the breeds that there's a lot of in the U.S people, it's kind of an underappreciated wool. It's a down breed and it has terrific bulk and squish and it makes great socks. This one, most of our roving is dyed in the wool. This one was a vat dyed. So this is one solid color of kind of a slate blue. But fabulous for socks.
some Icelandic wool that is another primitive breed. Um, what else do we have? We have some Corydale. Corydale is a medium breed. Um, so this is kind of the all-purpose. Uh, pretty easy to spin because the fibers are fairly long, but it's great for sweaters. It's great for a lot of different things because it's medium. This one's a Romney with Surrey alpaca blended in. And the Surrey alpaca in this, I know because I dyed it, is all this hot kind of banana green color and with a lot of natural brown. But this is one of my favorites, but I love green.